Raise the lips to stars that never end You're our guest in the front row Now it's time to start the show Grandson webcast show Interviews with folks you know Come along and join the fun In our books you're number one From the live entertainment capital of the world You're listening to BransonWebcast.com with your hosts, Hamner and Barber. It's not TV or radio, just one click, download the show. Grab some coffee, take your seat, we've got friends you'd like to meet. Branson Webcast Show, Hamner Barber, here we go. Laugh along and have some fun, it's a show for everyone. One of them plays with birds, and the other makes a sassy chihuahua talk. Here's Dave Hamner and Jim Barber. Thank you, Craig Burnett, and welcome back to the webcast with my very, very special friend, Todd Oliver, ventriloquist extraordinaire, yeah, a great star one. Really? of the Branson Bell Showboat. Oh, uh, Todd gosh. and I, we go way back, don't we? Gee, hearing that, I wish I had a better act. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll tell you, when we first met, I was living in, I was going to college in Minneapolis, Minnesota, yes. and I was doing a, a benefit show called Dummies for Kids with some other ventriloquists up in Minneapolis. Yes. And uh, I did a little bit where someone from the audience would come up and tie me up. And and uh, Todd came up as my volunteer from the audience. We had never met yet. And you tied me in this really tight knot. I don't think I could get out of it. But <laughs> but uh, after the show, you came up and you said that I'm a ventriloquist. And, and we started getting to be friends and hanging out a lot. And during that time, I, I did a morning kids TV show there. And you came on as a guest several times. And yes. we had a lot of fun. I was, was, I was so bad, I had the dummy in one hand, the joke book in the other. <laughs> No, but I'm just so proud of you. You've had oh, such a fantastic career. Great and, career. Uh, I'm very you know, blessed. I'm very we, blessed. We used to hang out all the time, and now here we are in Branson, and we're we're only a few minutes away, but we hardly ever see each other because we're all so busy. All I time. saw you more when I didn't know you. <laughs> exactly. I, I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. But you're busy. People Show people in this town are busy. This is a great town. Yeah. Especially yeah. variety we're, acts. You know, we always work at different clubs, but yeah. we're never there at the same time. Well, so. you've got this beautiful theater. You, you own your own theater. You work in your own theater. You, you, so you, you, I'm sure you wear a million hats and you do a, you, both of you do beautiful performances, wonderful acts. You know, the great thing about Branson is it, it, it's first class show people yes. that don't uh, use the bad language mm -hmm. and, and resort to the blatant sexual garbage and all that stuff that you see. And, and you know, the, the cool thing about it is young people, young teenagers and young people in their 20s and all, they come here and they sit in a show and it's clean and it's hip and it's a new refreshing experience for them mm -hmm. yeah because all they all they're used to is 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 the the off-color stuff mm -hmm. now i know there's a place for that and i know there's a lot of uh, brilliant minds out doing they're doing all that weird stuff and hey good for them but our town it doesn't work in this town in fact there's been acts off-color acts that come here good that are uh, consistently good in what they do but they come here and they bomb mm -hmm. so i think what we're saying where's branson missouri is, is we're ahead of the game. What mm -hmm. we're doing here is new uh, because everything else has been so weird for so long. So mm -hmm. it's, we're very blessed to be here. Yeah. Yes, well, you're, you're out on the Branson Bell Showboat. Yeah. How many years have you been working on the showboat now? 11 years. 11, 11 years, years. is it that long? Yeah. yeah. Well, they, They're gonna they, bury me at sea. <laughs> They love you out there, and you have a very, very unique act. For those who yeah. may not have seen you, although uh, you've been all over network television yes. uh, recently, and we'll go more into that yeah, in just yeah. a second, but tell us a little bit about your act. It's very, very creative. Well, I, I'm a ventriloquist, and uh, I uh, did a standard act for a long time that kept me busy and working. And a standard you act know. would mean? Well, I had, the t I had two dummies. And then I did audience participation. <laughs> and, and look at us here we are again. So yeah. And actually, I had three. Actually, I had three. I had a little lady and two. But and I did a, an act where I worked in Nashville for seven years on a showboat. In fact, you worked on that showboat before I was the, there. The, the General, uh, General Jackson. Jackson. You, I worked the very first two seasons. And then in, you left, and I came. That's right. And then I yeah. was I was there for a while. And, uh, and then I did everything we all did. The, we all, all the variety acts, we all did the same circuit back in. The Magic Island, the Magic Islands, Wizards, the, Wizards, yeah, the, Universal. the, the cruise ships, you yeah, know, yeah. the Pocono Mountains and the, the Catskills. The, the, yeah. the, the Catskills in Florida, you know, the condos and all that. <laughs> oh, I can tell you stories. <laughs> oh my gosh. But isn't it nice as a performer though to, to settle down and have an actual home life? Yeah. Go, go home to your own bed every night. Yeah, and, it's great. And there aren't very many places in this world where you can do that as an entertainer other than oh, yeah. Branson or maybe Las Vegas. Vegas, you know. Yeah, we I, we have a little ranch outside of town. With, we have five dogs. Anyways, to get back to your question, <laughs> so I had the dummies, you know. Yes. And I had done those television shows over around TNN 
You did those. those I, oh, yeah, chases, a lot the of the National shows. Network shows. Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I one day, I, I'd, done, I'd done all the shows, and the producer said, hey, you got to do something different. We've seen the dolls. So I, uh, I had this idea for a talking dog. And um, I, had, I had kind of procrastinated about doing something, something with it because I was working, and I... You know, everything was going real good. So I finally did it. And it was my idea. It was my idea for the illusion and everything like that. And um, I did it. And it took me about a year to get a ride. I got a dog, you know, and I had to wait for him to get old enough to do it. And, and we went on stage the first night in Nashville in 1996. And it, it was an instant hit with the crowds. Talking dog. Nothing better than, you know. Nothing better than I have a talking dog. <laughs> yeah. You have a bad day? What the heck? I got a talking I dog. I got a talking dog, yeah. Hey, you know, your kids your kids run off, your wife leaves you. Hey, I got a talking dog. <laughs> so your first you know, time to perform yeah. that act was on, on TNN, yeah. was it? Yeah. Uh, well, with the dog, uh, yeah. the t TV show? Was well, it, or the, was it on the, sh oh, the, on first, the boat? On the, on the showboat there on the in Nashville. Showboat. The first oh, okay. time with the dog went on stage and he sang uh, I Left My Heart in San Francisco. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> how do you top a dog singing that? So uh, yeah, then I told you guys, and then that, and then I just started building it, and then instant, and then we got um, Irvin Arthur signed me uh, to a representation deal, and um, and then I just then we then all of a sudden we got a bunch of TV dates, and um, and then what happened? Then road dates, and then we Branson, all of us yeah came along uh, like within a year, and that was uh, well. Let's talk uh, about some yeah. of those TV yeah. dates. What was your first big network uh, show? Um, uh, let's see, well, let's see, the, I think Howie Mandel show was the first network one, I think. When he had well, hair. When he had hair. Yeah. When he had hair. <laughs> yeah. That, no, then we did the Walker, Texas Ranger episodes. Oh, yeah. Some rep episodes yeah. there. Then we did the, a couple of Tonight Shows, uh, cameo spots up there. Yeah, and with then Jay Leno. Jay Leno. Right, yeah. And then um, we did a bunch of those variety specials mm -hmm. in the... Uh, late 90s uh, Oak Ridge Boys live in Las Vegas Penn and Teller had a Sin City Sin City yeah. spectacular but that was you ever follow Lou Reed <laughs> <laughs> I've been trolled with a talking dog following Lou Reed now that's unusual and, and <laughs> I'll never get out with a weird deal but they treated us great it was wonderful and then we we did a bunch of the other. We did, well, we all did a Letterman. We did. Yeah, a, you uh, did it. Ventriloquist week. Yeah, yeah you yeah. were on the very first ventriloquist the, week, and, and you did it. And then uh, we did. Um, we just did the Today Show, and uh, we did some other. We did all, all those TNN shows back in the early days. You know, well, early whatever in the nineties, whatever eighties. And and, and, 80s, you, huh? and you say on that uh, Today Show that Kathy Lee treated you very well. Oh gosh, God, I love her. Isn't she fantastic? <laughs> a beautiful human being. A, cr a credit to her race and her nation. Absolutely. <laughs> And her Gosh, fate. And I can't believe it, you know. <laughs> Incredible, yeah. yeah. Nah, you know, yeah, that's those. Hey, it was nice. You know? <laughs> well, I thought you, I, I got to I eat some you good food. Job. New York, I got yeah. to eat, you know. I, I didn't go there for the gig, I went there to eat. Did you eat at Gordon Ramsay's new restaurant out there? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I went to the Carnegie Deli. Yeah, oh, okay. I ate so many blintzes, I almost exploded. <laughs> Now, how do you travel with your dogs? How, how, you must have to. Yeah, well, I just take them on I drive with now. You. you know, I used to fly and put Irving under the seat. And one time we were out, we were going to do that TV show in, uh, with uh, Chuck Norris, and I was the only guy in first class, and the dog was under the seat. And I went, I went to uh, to my. Oh, that's uh, Chuck my, Norris that's, calling that's, that's right him now. Calling right there. Yeah. Come on, do the distant voice. Hold on, Jim. folks. Come we're gonna on, just uh, let Todd he can answer do it. this. Do uh, the distant voice. Come on, do it. You, you, oh. <clears> do it. Do it. Hello. Is Chuck there? Chuck's not home? <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, what's up, Chuck? <laughs> okay, all right. Now that's ventriloquist. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I usually warm up before the well, show. We gotta show me how to do that sometime. <laughs> well, you know, wait, I remember, I, we, we oh, talked geez. about the distant voice one time on a trip. We did. Oh, they're calling back again. Did you do that? That's probably uh, you know, you're Kathy the Lee. Conan O'Brien Or Kathy Lee. <laughs> you're the magician. He made it ring. Yes, he exactly. Made the voice. That he made might it ring. be an important call, but yeah, uh, I guess we'll just find right. out later. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah. one time we took a trip together, a road trip from yes. Minneapolis to Lawrence, Kansas, because yes. my wife, who was my girlfriend at the time, was yes. going to school in Lawrence. And uh, you uh, were friends with Foy Brown, yes. who was an old vaudevillian who uh, was a ventriloquist and a ventriloquist figure maker. Yeah, great guy. And uh, he became very important to your career. Yeah, he, he carved a couple of dummies that I used for years, and he was really, really nice. You know, being the Morales of School Assembly Act for, you know, for a while. Before, yeah. Before, you know, when you were on the college circuit, I was in the school assembly circuit. Right. Four towns a day, five days a week. You leave in September, you come home in June. Little milk stops all along. You ever do them? David? I did them, yes. You do them? 
you know, so I'd get my mail, general delivery, every Friday, wherever the last booking was of the deal, you know, the tour. And Foy would write me these letters. And I used to say, now remember, in your suitcase, if you're staying in the hold hotels, keep a gaveling hook, graveling hook, whatever, and a rope. So if there's a fire in the hotel, you can put the rope down and get out. <laughs> said, you want to make sure you got to the oh, next hotel. You next can't down. even open the window. Yeah, yeah he, he used to carve the dummies in the living room there. Foy and Grace, God yes. love them. They were wonderful folks. And mm. his brother was a ventriloquist. Let me turn this That's thing a, That's a big gig, I and, think, uh, coming in there. Uh, oh, no. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want any more gigs. I want to <laughs> the magic of retire, cell phones, you know? folks. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, they, they, that's the great thing about our business is we get to meet uh, old timers that were in vaudeville. A lot of them are gone now, though. But yes. when we were getting started, we could we could meet the old timers mm -hmm. and hear their stories. And, and But don't you think yeah. we really were meant to live in that era? Because, oh, you know, yeah. I mean, that's what I, I love. I love the music of that era. Yeah. I just love everything about the 40s and, oh, and the 50s. Oh, my gosh. You know? Everybody shined their shoes. They wore a clean shirt when they went on stage. Their hair was combed. They, they could entertain <laughs> the audience. They could work the crowd. No bad language. And yeah, here's the thing. And I always say this. I just said this on the Today Show. Here's what's great about Branson. Six-year-olds, 16-year-olds, 26-year-olds, 96-year-olds were all laughing at the same joke at the same time. Yes. Now that's really, really wonderful. That's a fantastic thing. And a family that can laugh together, that is absolutely great. Because I remember when I was a kid, my, my brother and I and our parents watching Phyllis Stiller or watching Milton Berle or uh, Alan King or someone like that on TV and us all laughing at the same time. Mm -hmm. What a great thing for the whole family to laugh at something that's cute and innocent and fresh and original I mean original you know and and that and that was wonderful and and that's what Branson is I you know I, well, thank God for Branson because because now we are the new hip fresh thing here you know yes yeah. well, I'll tell you and, and Branson yeah. was good for me as an entertainer it gave me a, a, a way to get off of the road and uh, my wife and I are celebrating our 23rd anniversary this year, and we have a seven-year-old daughter now. Yeah. And you are also a new daddy. How old is your? She's three years old. Three years old. Yeah, already. yeah my man. wife. I'm when the baby was born. My wife said, "I can't wait for the baby to start talking." I said, "No problem, babe. I'm a ventriloquist. What do you want the kid yeah. to say? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you want. My mother-in-law thinks the kid's a genius." Yeah, <laughs> but well, we had it was nice. That's yeah. great, and and you're really an asset to this community. Well, and, so are you, gentlemen. Right. So are well, you. I I. Funny thing, when I was on the road in the 80s, uh, I knew of both of you, because in the trades and everything, and you guys were all working the, we're all working the same, the same circuit, mm -hmm, the back yeah. of the ships and the clubs and the magic nightclubs and things, mm -hmm. you know. And now here we're all together in Branson, and mm -hmm. uh, it's really great. I'm, I'm, I'm proud to know you guys. Mm -hmm. You guys are first class acts, and mm -hmm. and um, and that's and, and that's what keeps this town happening, you know. Yeah. 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 Well, that's great. Well, uh, you've got a website if people want to go on. Yeah, and, uh, right. Maybe yeah. get your DVD of your show or. Sure. Yeah. Funnydog.com. Funnydog.com. Funny. Yeah. 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 And every every day you, you do two shows or one show on the Branson? Two shows a night, six nights a week. Mm -hmm. Wow. Four o'clock and eight o'clock Monday through Saturday. On the Branson Bell, which is a wonderful experience. They've got yeah. the sit down dinner and they've yeah. got a lot of other activities. And of course, the highlight mm -hmm. uh, Todd Oliver and his talking dogs. So, oh, yeah. They're in your office right now. I hope they didn't make a mess. I think so. I'm mm -hmm. well, smelling bro. something. They can talk, <laughs> but that doesn't mean they're housebroken. Yeah, you betcha. Woof. All right, Todd Oliver, our special guest. Come out, Great see him. You've been listening to BransonWebcast.com with your hosts, Dave Hamner and Jim Barber. Join us next time for more interviews, music, and fun from Branson, Missouri. Y'all come back and hear us soon. Hope you liked our little tune. Next time on the internet, we'll have new friends you haven't met. Branson Webcast Show, spread the word to all you know. On the web and having fun, it's the show for everyone. This is your announcer, Greg Burnett, saying thanks for joining us and come back real soon for more fun at BransonWebcast.com.